Tune into this week's On.net where I have my good friend Bandian all the way from Hungary, who's going to be talking about setting up and archiving and publishing iOS and Android apps with .NET MAUI and VS Code. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm your host, James Monson Magno, and today we're talking about some VS Code extensions for .NET MAUI with my good friend Bandy. How's it going, Bandy? Uh, everything's fine. How about you? Ah, I'm doing fantastic. I recently uh, went through an entire VS Code setup for .NET MAUI on my Mac. I literally reformatted my Mac. I was like, I want to get rid of everything, start fresh. And of course, the very first thing I wanted to do was start building my apps and deploying my apps. And I ran across a bunch of extensions from you for .NET MAUI. How do you even start thinking about building extensions for VS Code? Well, um, that's a great question. <laughs> why, why are you making uh, extensions for VS Code? But basically, the retirement of um, Visual Studio for Mac is a good reason to start moving ourselves into Visual Studio Code. And I found that turned out that uh, some things can be easily achieved with some extensions. So I decided to make my own. And uh, it seems like everybody's liking it, uh, likes it. So yeah, that's how I made it. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I've been really enjoying the ecosystem on VS Code because, you know, as uh, someone that obviously uses Visual Studio and used Visual Studio for Mac for a long time, it was ever what was in that ecosystem. But VS Code is used for so many other frameworks and programming languages and a lot of mobile development. I started adding in like things for like Android, like Android emulator launchers and simulator stuff and all this other stuff. And I ran across your extension, which is all about publishing, archiving, signing, and doing all this cool stuff for iOS and Android and, and Windows as well. Um, so and if you have a Mac, you're doing it on Windows, you can, you can do this anywhere, which is fantastic. Well, let's talk about this extension, all about you know, archiving and publishing. What all can this extension do? Yeah, basically, it can archive Android and iOS applications very easily without touching the terminal. So probably that can ease up the developing process. Very cool. All right, well, do you want to take a look at it? You want to show it off? Yeah, of course, I can show it off. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and bring up your screen. All right, cool. VS Code, I see it. Yeah, yeah. So let's dive into um, what we will do in this demo. So basically, we will prepare the VS Code development environment uh, with some extra functions besides the .NET MAUI extension, which is cool, by the way. Uh, Learn how to get up to date information about uh, the different publishing uh, methods per, pot per platform and uh, how to easily access them from your VS Code environment. Take a quick look in Apple's developers portal, um, the profile section, and learn how to easily create a signed IPEA file, uh, which can be later delivered into the App Store with the transporter, and uh, learn how to create a signed Android release. Uh, both APK and AAB format. Cool. Um, one thing you have to remember, you can always always go with the uh, command line comments from the terminal. Um, and these can be um, found in the Microsoft Learn. So if you fire up your um, fire up your favorite search engine, probably you can find useful information in the Microsoft Learn uh, website. Got so it. first. Let's prepare the development environment. Open up your VS Code and hit to the extensions section of the VS Code. And let's search for MAUI, MAUI, and probably it will show up. .NET MAUI archive publish tool. That's what we need. We need to install this. So this will be in addition to the Donna Maui uh, extension, which I can see you have installed over there as well, right? Yes. Perfect. Mm, once it's installed, mm, you can check the command palette by um, searching for archive. And if you see archive, then we are basically the extension is. Uh, yeah, all right there. And I, I like that you have links to documentation all set yeah. up and ready to go, like you said, so you can easily go to it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you check out the settings of the Epic, uh, of the extension because um, it might uh, require you to um, provide some um, explicit values for the uh, .NET publish command. But uh, yeah, you can check the extension uh, work by 
I'm typing low ER hive. And you, if you see the documentation, for example, then you're good to go. Cool. So we are, we are having this application, which is performing fine, bug-free, and we want to publish to uh, the App Store. Uh, so um, basically what we will need is an Apple developer subscription. And if you have an Apple developer subscription, you are able to access the uh, Apple developer portal. Um, you can create um, a distributed certificate for your application. As you can see, we've got this demo or hybrid distribution profile and also get the development profile in order to develop the application. Um, yeah. If you are unaware of this process, then make sure to check out the published.nmoe app for iOS um, in the Microsoft Learn, and you will find step-by-step -step tutorial how to achieve these. Uh, but let's consider for this, uh, for now that you have downloaded the distribution profile and um, installed on your machine and um, everything is uh, correctly set up in order to um, deploy your application to the wider, wider audience. So let's go to the Visual Studio and uh, open up the comment palette. You can open up the comment palette with uh, comment shift uh, P and let's type Maui Archive publish iOS. The extension will ask you uh, which CS Pro you want to archive. Uh, if you have multiple CS Pros in one uh, solution, then you can choose between them. So if you have multiple applications in one solution, you can choose between them. But since we only have one, let's go with the default one. We've got, um, we have to select a uh, signing identity. Um, if you are part of one, only one organization, you probably will um, only have one um, signing identity. So let's select this only one. And um, you can select your uh, distribution profile, pro provisioning profile. Uh, but uh, to deploy it to the App Store, you will need a distribution profile. Okay. So let's uh, go with the distribution profile now. And these are different profiles that you installed on your machine from the Apple Developer Portal, basically. And VS Code is looking those up. Is that correct? Yes. Gotcha. Cool. Very nice. And then we'll put links to the documentation that's in the extension, but we'll link to it as well. So yeah, cool. So in the terminal, you can see that the created package have been put under the bin release. So let's uh, head over to the solution explorer, uh, right click on the uh, solution name, the CS Pro name and reveal in finder. So it's probably under the bin. Release iOS, iOS ARM64, and there's a publish folder somewhere. It's probably here. And we've got the demo archiver IPA, what we can yeah. drag and drop to the transporter application in order to transport it to App Store. And that's a app from Apple, right? That, that you can download from the App Store and then that uploads it. Yeah. Cool. This, this is a third party application. It, uh, it can be downloaded from the App Store. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Well, that was really easy. Uh, that was like, what, uh, two minutes <laughs> of time, yeah. basically? Yeah, yeah, around it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's really, really cool. Super duper easy to just like get it from easy commands that everyone's used to. And I like that it shows you everything right in that list. That's really neat. Yeah. But you know what's easier? Making what? an Android, making an Android <laughs> application. So, uh, hi, let's check it out. So if you want to publish your application, Android application to the Google Play, then you will need the key store. Um, the detailed instructions are also on the Microsoft Learn, so you can uh, follow that tutorial how to uh, how to create a key store. But also you can use this extension uh, if you head over to comment palette and uh, we'll type generate, and there's a generate code signing key. Uh, which we create you, uh, guide you through the steps how to create an Android key store. I uh, already have one, which you can list, by the way, um, Android, Android, Maui, Archive, Maui, hi. list of key stores and check signature. And as yeah. you can see, there's one. So uh, you can basically check the code signing keys of uh, what the extension can discover and can be used uh, to publish your applications. 
But nice. if you don't have one, then you can head over to generate code signing key and it will guide you through the steps. Cool. So what about publishing the Android application? So let's go to the common palette again. That's our best friend, seems like. <laughs> and um, type publish Android. Perfect. Again, you have to select a CS profile if you have multiple, but we only have one. And here's the option to go on with an unsigned, uh, unsigned application or a signed application. For releasing applications to the wider audience, I do recommend to use the signed option and um, use your key store in order to um, sign your application. So let's select this one, what we have just uh, generated. So it's done building, so we can see the AAB file under the bin release .a Android uh, publish and the one with the signed AAB suffix. Perfect. So we can we can go on to the not this side, but the other side. Uh, for example, this one, uh, Google Play Console, and under the upload, or we can just drag and drop again, and we can upload this. Uh, application to the Google Play console. Nice, easy peasy. So really kind of just that easy to get it from just a few commands, create everything up, drag and drop it into the portal, and you're good to go. That's yeah. awesome. Very cool. Nice. Uh, what else do you have planned for this uh, extension, uh, Vandy? Like, you know, uh, you said it also does Windows support, correct? Yeah, Windows support. Uh, it's also supporting the Windows uh, target platform, but I'm planning to um, implement the Mac Catalyst support as well. And a very weighted feature of this uh, of this extension is to uh, publish without uh, opening up the Safari and the uh, transporter application to publish instantly to App Store and Google Play. So that will be achieved in this year. I nice. hope so. Very cool. Well, Bandy, thank you so much for coming on and showing it off. I know people are going to love this. I'm going to go install it, check it all out, start uploading my applications. Thanks for coming on and showing off. I really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet with you. I hope you liked it. And um, make sure to check out on GitHub the source code, and uh, you can collaborate on it. Awesome. Bandy, thank you so much. Super appreciate it. I'll put links to everything that you saw here today and the GitHub project. Thanks again for coming on. I appreciate it. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. And don't forget, if you're over here on the .NET YouTube, like, subscribe, do all those fancy things, and leave comments below. Anything else you want to see or if you have questions for Bandy, but definitely check it out on GitHub. And of course, make sure you just jam, jam, jam that like button. That's going to do it for this week's on .NET. I'm James Montemagno, and thanks for watching.